Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Mm. Uh, no. No. As Manthus whined. <gasps> Have a hangout now. And we're gonna be doing Layla's hangout. This will be fun. Let's go into the academy. Oh my god. Oh, there you are. Wrong. I was originally looking up some information at the house of Dana, but the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis is horribly lacking. Uh, stress value shows her current anxiety. Being long tortured by her own anxious thoughts, Layla's stress level shows her current mental state. This value will fluctuate as the story progresses. Praise the situation carefully before making your choice. Oh. I should have been done with the first draft of my thesis by now, but I've barely written a third. Hmm. Okay, so what are you planning to do now? Well, uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now, but mm -hmm. who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe... I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later, so he can focus his attention on the other students. Oh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up, and I haven't completely given up yet. haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. Damn. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh, if it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the Darshan by now. Is this someone a good friend of yours? Are they a sage? Are they the great fungus elder? Huh? Oh, what's that? A fungus with a long beard? I'm trying to be funny. Uh, there's no such thing. Though, if there were, I'd love to give it a pat or two. Ah, uh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. Wait, is it her sleepwalking <sighs> side? Due to my lack of sleep. I sometimes get dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. It's that bad, huh? Yeah, but oddly enough, when I wake up, 
All the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Oh, it, it, it's, it's her. It's my her sleep. Somehow sleepwalking. Before the deadline, and my papers are perfectly written. But that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. Hmm. I really don't know what's going on, but for now, I'm calling the phenomenon a blessing from the stars. No, it's actually Maybe your own. The stars above decided to help out after seeing all the effort I put into my research. <laughs> if that's even possible. I don't want powers like that. <sighs> but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts, improving one step at a time. Uh, how else can I honor my parents and live up to the expectations of everyone who knows me? Hmm. Oh no, I've already spent too much time chatting. Oh, I still haven't made much headway on my thesis at this rate. I'll need the Wisdom Sealy's help. That's a thing? Yes, but time's of the essence. So I have to take what I can get. Oh, sorry. I'm just making excuses. But the Wisdom Sealy is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. Wait, that does exist? Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question, and you'll get a response a short while later. You can see these even do something like that? Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Sealy. But getting an answer all comes down to the Sealy's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Oh, trust me, I've seen researchers do things <sighs> way worse. What I can do right now is hope that it helps me. What about the blessing from the stars? Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Oh, it will happen. My luck with another phenomenon is oh, better than doing nothing. Sounds a little sketchy, but I'll go check it out with you. It's too risky to rely on some fishy legend to complete your thesis. Oh, really? But I don't want to take up your time. I'm worried that you'll pass up from exhaustion soon. Sorry for the bother. You're too kind. Okay, let's go give it a try. I've already prepared my question for the Sealy. Bro, like, where uh, even I is this thing? I just hope it can help me get through this predicament. Among the countless legends surrounding the House of Dana, the Wisdom Sealy is one of the more popular ones lately. I've never heard of this. It hasn't been around for long, but word of the Sealy's existence spread like wildfire. Many people have claimed that they've received a reply from it. So, it should probably help me as well, right? So do you just call its name and it appears, or is this some kind of summoning ritual? I don't know its name, and we have to keep our voices down in the house of Dana. Oh, or else you'll get some scary glares from the Mahamada. Let's split up and ask around about the Sealy. Hopefully someone knows something more. Hmm. So that's what's going on here. Now, where is the wisdom seal even located, anyway? What do you even do? Rabbi. Uh, excuse. 
Excuse me? Uh, have you ever heard of the Wisdom Sealy? <laughs> You've come to the right person. I came across this legend not too long ago myself. After hearing about it, I decided to test it out and ask it a question about the brightness of the stars. Two days later, I got a response. It included two pages of detailed and accurate information. It saved me from having to look up a ton of resources. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, so I submitted another question a few days ago. I still haven't received a reply, though. That sounds like what others have said. But I don't have the time to wait for a reply if the silly doesn't answer right away. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, can you please tell me how to submit a question to the Wisdom Sealy? It's quite simple. Go to the bookshelf over there and find either Theoretical Astrology or a Quick Reference Guide to Astrology Cases. Oh, astrology, I know huh? where those are. My Darshan has us use those two books quite often. Okay, so write your question in a letter addressed to the Wisdom Sealy, and then insert the letter into one of the books. Come back in a day or two, and if you see a red stamp on your letter, that means the Wisdom Sealy has replied. However, if the stamp never appears, then that means the Sealy doesn't want to answer your question. I see. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go write down my question. Hopefully the Sealy replies. Uh, being here sounds like a stressful time, eh? Huh. Also, I'm getting decent frames. Check on it. Uh, don't worry about me if you have other things to do. I'll come with you. I'm a little worried. I see. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. All right then. Let's meet up here tomorrow. I really hope this silly replies. Oh, 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 oh! We don't even turn the time. Time to look at the letter. Please let there be a stamp. Please let there be a stamp. Ah, uh, there's a red stamp on it. The silly responded. Fantastic. Your eyes are sparkling. Uh, what? This is oh. wonderful. My troubles are at an end. Oh, I can't even. Oh, so to if you. Grateful I am. So she's on one uh, stress heart now, so we don't want this to be full. I see Again, now. Thank you for your letter. Though I have extended a response, uh, I cannot answer your query due to your questionable motives. Uh, uh, questionable motives? Uh, me? Uh, uh, wait, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Completing a thesis requires independent thought and work. You planned on using my knowledge to complete your paper's most critical portions. That's not right. However, considering that your deadline is fast approaching and that there is substance to the content in the completed sections of your thesis, I've decided to help you nonetheless. Follow the hints I've left, and you will find the answer to your question. Consider the effort you put into thinking and searching as your payment for my knowledge. What the... It's absolutely right about everything. Oh, I'm starting to feel guilty now. I can't deny any of it. Damn. But I'm running out of time. Oh, what should I do? Well, I'm a fast runner myself, so I can do that. I'll search the answers with you. Might be messing with you. Huh? I could tell you're a very kind person, but 
I never expected that you'd go this far to help me. I'll definitely think of a way to make it up to you once I take care of my thesis. Just another day. Okay, let's start by looking at the hint it left us. It should be on the second page. The first clue lies hidden on the Road of Wisdom. The headstrong child finally sees the world for how big it truly is. Filled with awe, yet struck with fear. Uh, that's it? Uh, not even a picture or any other marking to go off of. Oh, this is pretty abstract. Well, he... Did, they this did want it. What's of wisdom and who's the child? Wisdom is referring hmm, to academia. Possibly. That sounds like a natural conclusion. So, is the road of wisdom the road that leads to the academia then? Wait, I think I get what it means by the child and awe and fear. When I first left home, it took me days to reach Sumeru City. Oh, I was completely shocked when I first saw it with my own eyes. I see. It was so grand and awe-inspiring. Pictures of the city simply don't do it any justice. After seeing the city, a thought popped into my head. Am I really worthy of this place? And that's the fear? Worry, fear, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. If I'm connecting the dots correctly, then I think I know where the Sealy is leading us. But how does it know my feelings so well? Maybe it wasn't referring to you specifically. People who come to the Mayor City from elsewhere may have similar, uh, have similar feelings. You have a point. There's nothing special about my background or experiences. It could be anyone's. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go. So, now that I'm actually somehow getting 60 FPS, let's just keep going. And we're supposed to go to the entrance of the academia, right? That's something. Where is this place? Wow, that... That's a long... Why is it over here? Is it just like a good view of the city or something? Boy. Oh, we should be close. This is the way I came when I first traveled to Sumeru City. Aww, it's been way too long since I last visited home. Uh, no, no, this isn't the time for that kind of talk. Oh, we have to hurry and find the clues that the Sealy left behind. It's a pretty big area. Uh, it is. Relying solely on what the Sealy said might not be viable. Hmm... Assuming the Sealy is intentionally linking the clues to my past, uh, I think I have an idea. Let's hear it. Uh, um, so this is a little embarrassing. At that time, the sight of Sumeru City was absolutely mesmerizing. I was anxious, but also excited about all the things to come. I was distracted and... Accidentally stepped on a video leopard's tail. The prize of being distracted. I didn't notice it at all. 
Oh, the poor thing was sound asleep and after I stepped on its tail, it bolted straight up. I freaked out and ran as fast as I could. There were actually more Avidia leopards sleeping nearby and they were all faster than me. I almost got bitten a couple of times. Good thing someone from the Aramites heard me shouting for help. Uh, they managed to scare off the leopards. Good thing you weren't hurt. Yeah, but when I finally managed to calm myself down, I noticed that the talisman my mother had made for me was missing. It's extremely precious to me. Ever since I was little, I would always carry it with me whenever I'm doing something important. So we're finding this I thing. I also had it with me when the academia conducted its selection exam at my village. Oh, I checked my bag at least a dozen times to make sure the talisman was in there. <laughs> I feel much more at ease knowing that I have it with me. I had thought that it would also help me calm my nerves in Sumeru City. But I ended up losing it before I even finished registration at the academia. I can sympathize with your feeling of loss of peace of mind it gave you. It must be irreplaceable. Yeah, and that's when I started having sleeping problems. Uh, I just began to sleep less and less each day. Losing a talisman like that is definitely a bad omen. We find it. Now. <sighs> oh, sorry. I am starting to ramble again. Uh, what were we talking about before? Uh, all right. Why the silly let us here? The yeah, voice actor did a good we job. Look around where the Avidia leopards attacked me. If the silly is trying to make me remember things that happened in the past, it would make the most sense for it to hide clues in memorable locations. But here's the thing: how in the fuck does someone from academia know this stuff? Oh, hope the silly's clue wasn't also torn to shreds by a video leopards. Relax, I need to be so pessimistic all the time. Uh, I'm sorry, you're right. Uh, it's a bad habit of mine. I suppose any progress is a step in the right direction. Let's go. Hmm. Now where do we? Oh, okay. Quit following me. Oh, we should be close. Oh, that's a oh, sure enough, it's here and in a really obvious place. Hmm, that pretty much confirms my hunch about the Seely's intentions. Feels like the Seely's trying to provoke you. Seems like the Seely knows you really well. Uh, I don't know. But how did it know about all these details? I've hardly told anyone about this stuff. Wait a minute. What if the Seely is actually her uh, sleepwalking? Uh, that That's uh, the only thing that will make sense here. It's somewhere and spying on me, is it? Oh, that's a scary thought. Or maybe it's you. Uh, but a different anyway, personality. Let's look at the clue we found. Um, seems like you haven't forgotten about your very first failure. Ah, oh, see? It knows everything. This might be too much even for the wisdom ceiling. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. No wonder the Sealy is becoming legendary. Ah, oh, let's keep reading the clue. Ahem. I've placed the second clue where heaven meets water. The answer, seemingly amongst the stars, was ultimately washed to some unremarkable place downstream. Hmm. Ah, oh, just as I thought. It's something to do with me again. You already got the meaning? 
if the first clue was any indication, then the location described in this clue should also be related to my life experiences. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's Most gonna be her sleepwalking doing this, right? related to studying the stars. Uh, my own thesis work often requires me to go in the field and collect astrological data. And, uh... Oh, God. Let's just say there's another devastating and unforgettable failure I had. Hmm. Uh, but that can't be helped, right? We do many things not because we want to, but uh, because we have to. Uh, let's keep moving. It might be hard to believe, but being out and about is making me feel a lot better. Uh, than usual. Hmm. That's crazy. Alright. Now what next? Wow, we're traveling. Wow, this is a Sameru world tour, guys. I'm going everywhere. Performed my first field observation after enrolling at the academia. I borrowed some equipment from the school and came here on a perfectly clear day. Everything was ready to go, and I was positive that I'd be able to get some great data. But the equipment was a little heavy, and I didn't notice that the ground was muddy and some spots were unstable. After I finished setting up everything, part of the ground suddenly shifted and my equipment started teetering over. I rushed over to grab hold of it, but I ended up tripping over another piece of equipment. Oh. The next thing I knew, everything was covered with muddy water. Oh, me and all my equipment. You must be wondering how someone can be so clumsy. Not really. Uh, thank you for understanding. If I were the one complaining about not being well rested, it would just sound like an excuse. Oh, it's a vicious cycle. The less I sleep, the more mistakes I make. The more mistakes I make, the harder it is for me to sleep. I think she was injured. Uh, I just got a minor fracture. So what? I need to rest at Bimarstan for a while. Fracture? Oh, to pay off the damages to the equipment, I took some part-time jobs. I just went to work whenever I couldn't sleep. It took me forever to pay off what I owed. Don't tell me your insomnia got worse out of that. Bingo. Oh, The pressure from my studies and debt was crushing me, and I didn't want to tell my family about any of it. After all, I am the legendary Layla who made it into the academia at a young age. Oh, and had never failed an assignment in her life. Ever consider taking a break? Of course. I've even considered giving up on my studies completely and returning home to help care for the Sumter Beast, but that would be kind of embarrassing. Uh, I don't mean that I'd be embarrassed in front of others. Uh, I mean that I'd be ashamed of myself. After all, everything I've done up till now is only a result of my own decisions. Although, it hasn't always been smooth sailing, and sometimes things don't go my way. I made it this far on my own. There haven't been any major incidents with my studies, and I even managed to pay off the equipment damages. Uh, but I guess I'm exaggerating a bit. Most of it is still due to the help of some unknown person rather than my own work. 
Your parents would feel bad if they knew what you really did. And that's exactly why they mustn't ever find out. Once I finally manage to acclimate to life in Sumeru City, I'll show them my success. Oh, I hope that day will come eventually. Anyways, let's continue looking for the next clue. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. An unremarkable place downstream was the description. This is sad. <laughs> this is getting sad. But downstream, you say, like uh, right here? Or, yeah. Hmm, that place downstream could be somewhere. Huh. Here, it's over here. Oh, good thing it's dry. I was worried the message might be wet. Let's see. Have you found it? The unremarkable place downstream. Well, of course. How else could I be reading this message? <laughs> Seriously. Ahem. <clears throat> I've placed the third hint at a crossroad without a cross. You can turn left or right, but turning back shouldn't be an option. Huh. They're actually getting clearer for me. I was sort of expecting this even before I read the message. Of course it should be getting clearer for her and not for us because like, th the clues are based on her past, not ours. I don't know if the clues are following a timeline or if they're based on the amount of regret I have. Either way, this incident was bound to come up sooner or later. Sounds like this is getting personal. Is the sea lease talking to you? Huh. Would someone really go to all this trouble just to pull off some prank? Uh, I can't make heads or tails of it. Anyway, just follow me. I'll save the story for when we get there. Alright. Oh, there's a dancer. Now that I've seen you, I will kill you. But first, I want these lotuses. Gather. Hey. Illusion shattered. <laughs> oh wow. Well, this is kind of like a crossroad. Turn left towards Gandharvaville or turn right towards Sumeru City. But turning back is not an option. Huh. place that immediately came to mind when the hint mentioned a crossroad. <laughs> okay, I swear to god this has to be to her sleepover, right? Astrological observation once. Everything went smoothly on the way and I thought I was starting to get used to life at the academia. But just as I was about to set up the observation equipment, I heard a strange sound coming from nearby. I made my way here and discovered a bunch of bandits robbing someone. Huh. They were a group of treasure hoarders and the family that was being mugged looked completely helpless. They definitely wouldn't have been able to escape and simply handing over their mora might not have been enough to make the bandits go away. So you wanted to help a could? Not exactly. I already had a vision by that time. Someone with a vision should technically be really powerful, right? Handling a group of treasure hoarders should be well within my abilities. However, I didn't know how to channel the power of the elements to fight at that time, and I was super scared. I wielded immense power, but 
I didn't feel any stronger than just an ordinary person. So that is how visions work? And what then happened? I ran away. I scrambled towards Sumeru City looking for help. Eventually, I managed to return with a few adventures I ran into along the way. It took longer than I had hoped, and by the time we made it back here, the treasure hoarders and the family were gone. I don't know if the family only lost their belongings in the end, or if something worse happened to them. Oh, I faced a lot of problems after coming to Sumeru City, but... This incident is one that I regret the most. I sat on the ground and and began to cry. I could have stepped in. Oh God! Would, would it have ended differently if if I were just a little braver? Oh, thank you for trying to comfort me, but I can't stop myself from thinking that way. It's just as the silly said, turning back shouldn't be an option. However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with a challenge. Hmm. Uh, you're right. I, se I sense another path. Gets, the harder I should try. <sighs> I'm feeling calmer now. Ah, okay. Let's go look for more leads nearby. We're probably getting close now. Let's search this area. Huh. Ah, there you are. Solidify! Ah. Here it is, just as I thought. The ceiling must have placed it here in advance. Let's see what we have this time. <sighs> Whatever it is, I'm ready. I don't think it's. I don't think she's gonna be ready for this one for some reason. <coughs> ah, yes, a house. Uh, huh? It's a. Uh, Picture? So it's not real this time? Uh, guess not. This house looks like it's in Vimara Village. Does the Sealy want us to go there? This might be the last stop in our search. Uh, I can't think of any connection I have with Vimara Village, though. I've only been there once, and it was pretty uneventful. Like I said, you're not ready! Uh, Whatever the case, the only way we'll know is if we go there. Just be sure not to push yourself too hard. Ah, oh, thanks, but I'm fine. I'm used to pushing my limits. I know how far I can go. I'm just pl I'm just hoping that I can keep her levels stable. If I can't keep her levels stable, then this will be bad. Aha! House! Uh, let's see... This should be the place. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Uh, maybe the Sealy didn't prepare anything for us this time. Uh, or does it want us to knock on the door first? If we're wrong about this, it'll be super awkward. Calm down. Uh, Take a deep breath. You're right. I can't always be like this. Uh, sometimes it's better to take action than overthink every little thing. Uh, 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 hello? Is anyone 
home? Coming! Just a moment. Oh, it's you, Layla. How nice of you to stop by again. Uh, huh? Do, do you know me? <laughs> That's no way to greet a friend. Of course I know you. Hmm. Is this a friend of yours? Or perhaps a classmate? Uh, a friend. We, um... I'm having a little trouble with my thesis, and we happened to be passing by. What's going on, Lila? Uh, I don't know either. I don't even know where to begin. I recognized him immediately. He's one of the people that was getting robbed by the treasure hoarders. Oh. But he shouldn't know anything about me. He shouldn't even know who I am. You said you've been to Vimara Village once. Uh, yeah, but that was before the robbery. I was just passing through. Even if he saw me, he would know who I am. He didn't notice me during the robbery. Is something the matter? Uh, I appreciate your kindness, but I really can't remember how we met. Uh, I'm sorry. So you aren't joking? Do you still remember when my family and I were being robbed by a gang of treasure hoarders? Yes, but I don't think I was of much help to you all. How so? You told us everything yourself the last time we met. My family and I were surrounded by treasure hoarders, and I didn't know what to do. But then, we heard people approaching in the distance. Those treasure hoarders were the first to hear them coming, and started to flee the moment they sensed the situation wasn't going their way. They didn't even bother taking anything with them. I wasn't sure what had happened, but the treasure hoarders were scared off. I immediately grabbed my wife and child and got out of there. Oh, uh, I see. Uh... I'm so glad that you and your family were unharmed. I thought it was a party of adventurers that happened to pass by, but later you told me that you had spotted us and ran to find help. You were amazing. You managed to keep a level head even in the midst of danger. Ah. I know you have a vision, so those treasure hoarders wouldn't have been a match for you. But they might have harmed me and my family if their backs were pushed against the wall. Uh, wait, that's not exactly what happened. I still regret not Oi. helping out sooner. Uh, anyway, uh, when did I come here last? I don't seem to remember. Hmm, it's been some time, but not too long ago. I don't recall exactly when. What's wrong? Nothing's coming to mind? Uh, Nope. I'm sorry. I still can't seem to remember, even after everything you've told me. Maybe I'm just under too much pressure. You came over and ate with us, and you played games with my son. <sighs> if only we had taken a picture. Oh! You forgot a package here from that visit. You'll definitely remember once you see it. Is it the answer here. to the I'll thesis? go fetch it. Uh, a package? I left a package here? Uh, wait! This is it! Huh? Wait! Is that the talisman? This is the talisman that I lost. The one that my mother made for me. What the? Is it the, really the same one you uh, want? Yes, this is definitely it. She made it herself. It's the only one of its kind. Uh, there's also a letter here. Was I planning to send it to someone? Uh, let's see who the recipient is. To Layla? <gasps> huh. I, I knew it! It's her, it's her sleepwalking personality. I'm assuming you aren't in the habit of writing letters to yourself. Uh, no. I swear I've never done anything like that. Oh, what is going on? Uh, let's open it and see what this is all about. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, Layla. It must have been quite the endeavor to follow the Sealy's hints all the way here. 
great work. Self-reflection is a wonderful quality to possess, but you'll only end up hurting yourself if you overdo it. Failure is a stranger to no one. The purpose of self-reflection is not to indulge in the pain of failure, but to succeed in your next attempt. If you're reading this letter, then you have succeeded in taking the first step. On the back of this letter is the core information that your thesis is lacking. It's actually been done for a while now. It only feels inconclusive because it's missing a concise summary to tie it all together. Ah. I hope that this journey has provided insight for your life ahead. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you courage as you carry onward and hope that you fulfill the expectations you hold. Always watching over you. Sincerely, the Wisdom Sealy. Oh. <laughs> I thought. I thought we were going to fail. I thought that. Everything we did and all the time we spent was for nothing. But. The Sealy wasn't messing with me after all. I called it! Could it be that the Wisdom Sealy is you? I called it. I called it. I called it. Uh, I doubt it. I mean, unless I somehow came here while I was unconscious and don't remember it. Although, having said that, I have heard rumors claiming that I sleepwalk a lot. Hmm... But even then, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm actually the Wisdom Sealy. It could have just helped me while I was sleepwalking. Either way, it's safe to say that it's related to the Blessing of the Stars. Uh, I'll oh, really wow! I can ask to meet with the Sealy and see how it responds. Even though I still have a lot of questions, this experience was fruitful enough. If it wasn't for your encouragement, I probably would have quit halfway through and holed up in the academia somewhere. Yay, we did something! But perseverance really does pay off. I'm not sure if I understand what has happened, but it's something good, right? Yes, it's something really, really good, and I'm very thankful for it. Well then, since you're already here, why don't you stay and have something to eat? We just finished preparing some food. Uh, oh, uh... Come on, don't be a stranger. Your friend should join us as well. You can leave your troubles until after the meal. You must relax and gather your strength so you can take on the challenges ahead, am I right? He's right. Alright, thank Yay, you. Yay, her levels are down! I can do this. Damn, the price to pay and its returns. Damn. What? Who the hell are you? You're not my boy! Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. Okay, so uh, where do we go from here? We have this one right here. Dislocated dialogue. Osmanthus. Okay, shut up. Shut up, John Lee. I don't want to hear your Osmanthus wine. Goodbye. I no longer want to hear your Osmanthus wine reminiscence. Time to enter the house of Dana. <laughs> Too 
slow. Okay, so now we just picked the answer, the the uh, text that is not checkmarked already. Uh, there's a red stamp on. Uh, this, uh, let's take the thank you. Ah. Uh, okay. However, follow. Consider the what? It's absolute, but I'm running. It might be uh, messing with you. Supposedly. That means the seal is someone who's very strict and serious about knowledge. Uh, but who knows if it's really a silly or some person. The main issue is that you have a deadline to meet. True. And if I don't get an answer, then I'll only have wasted more time. Oh, but there's nothing else we can do. It's the one holding all the cards. It's completely hidden and can choose whether to help us or not. After all, it'd probably be impossible to find it and ask my question in person. Now uh, that sounds like an idea. Huh? Uh, I was just kidding. Oh, please don't take me seriously. It's a silly we're talking about. According to legend, Sillies are elusive and can create countless copies of themselves. Uh, who's to say that it won't summon a shooting star <laughs> to crush us once we find it? Think about what you just said for a moment. S sorry, I'm just a little panicky. Okay, Layla, calm down and think. If the silly is a person, then there has to be a way to track them down. We have two possible leads right now. Uh, the first is the checkout logs of those two books, and the other is the red stamp. The red stamp bears the Ritawahist emblem, which is used by a lot of people. Uh, it'll be hard to track down an individual, uh, so we should probably start with the checkout logs. Can't disagree with that logic. Let's go and make an inquiry. We can also ask around the house of Dana and see if anyone else knows something about the wisdom silly. Hmm. Huh, too slow. I'm the master of unlocking new things, boy. Quit following me. Huh. Oi, you Nargis. Oi, Latifa. Interesting names for NPCs. Hi there. Do you know anything about the Wisdom Seal? You look Asian. Yes, of course. I've been looking into it for quite a while now. However, I feel like I'm still missing some key pieces of information. Hey, maybe if we put our heads together, we can figure something out. Uh, sure. I'll try my best. There are a few known traits of the Wisdom Seal. First, it's extremely strong. It can easily carry a few dozen books, along with four or five pieces of astrology equipment all at once. Huh? It's extremely athletic as well. It only moves in a straight line and doesn't stop for anything, not even walls or rivers. What? Lastly, it has a number of special abilities. It has a hardened metal body that's impervious to injury. It can freeze water into ice, and it can also summon meteors. The that king what? doesn't even sound human. It sounds like some hero out of fairy tale. Well, it is a legend after all. It's no surprise that some details seem a little exaggerated. But these aren't just made up, you know. Each of its abilities has been confirmed by eyewitnesses. There have been many sightings too, including a Chatrakam cave, the Avidya forest, and around the waterfall south of Sumeru city. Has anyone seen what it actually looks like? 
or what kind of person it is? Hmm, not that I know of. No one's been able to get close to it. It seems like it tries to stay out of sight. Good idea. I would probably want to remain a mystery too, if I were someone as legendary as the Wisdom Seely. So what do you make of it? Have you seen it somewhere as well? No. We're probably gonna need some time to digest all the, uh, incredible information you've provided us. <laughs> Not a problem. But if you manage to find anything, be sure to come and tell me about it. I trust that you'll quickly discover the excitement of slowly unraveling the truth. Hmm. Hunan. 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 Hi there. Uh, have you heard of the legend of the wisdom, Silly? <sighs> Do I really look like the kind of student that would be interested in such a pointless legend? Oh, uh... Well, I do happen to have some information on... Huh? No, why didn't you just say Logically, that? that has... N I just don't want others to... Uh, I don't... Well... I'm pressed for time here, so I'm gonna start skipping. Late at night, a black shadow fell. Of course, huh? I was a little sleepy at the time. Uh, and then the shadow quickly circled behind me with incredible speed. Just as I tried to turn around to get a look at it, I fainted. Huh? Your shadow yes, sounds pretty It was unbelievably fat, but given how popular the legend of the Sealy. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but doesn't the house of Dana have a door? It was closed that night. I suppose even the house of Dana needs to be- I see, but what were you doing- Don't look so surprised. It's a common practice to find a place to hide before they lock the doors, so you can continue reading books here. Everyone knows that. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you for the info. I'll be sure to take note of everything- You're welcome. So, Layla is an extremely fast and can make people faint. <laughs> Too slow. Oi. Oi. Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Uh, uh hello. I'm a Ritao. Oh, are you also here to- Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, I might give in your Ritao his student. I have looked into it, but found no irregular- Is there any uh. chance the silly could have taken the- Not likely. That would be almost impossible. The house of Dana is extremely, and even if it managed to, if someone discovers that a book is missing, or however, it might be possible to pull off in the case of a. Okay. Uh... Hmm. This way, we already know that the okay. wisdom Celia is Layla. Some things we heard were pretty straightforward, but other. Yeah. Uh, okay. Calm down, Layla. I know th first. Let's try it then. We'll analyze where it's been sighted. From there, we should. Shout out the infiltrated the house of Dana. Book checkout laws of wisdom city superpower signing location. Hmm. Book circulation is strictly reg. Stamp. Hmm. Which probably means. Huh. True identity. Hmm. Hmm. The behavioral logic. It's been to the Chatracom cave. It's been to the. Uh, it what? Hmm. I think I heard. I may be able to come up with a more c I may be Ah, <sighs> okay. I think I've got it now. So what have you come up with? First, based on the information Katayun provided, we can assume that the Sealy is a student from the Ritawa his Darshan. You the possibility of it being someone outside the Darshan can next Leaving its crazy abilities aside, all the sightings, in other words, it's probably just con the question it's that you. I submitted was so based it's on this you. reasoning, all we have to do is wait for it. Uh, 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 
Bro, it's literally you. The truth behind it. Bro, it's literally you. Where are we going? Also, oh, Genshin's actually in 60 FPS right now, which is really, really nice. I don't know if it's gonna be that smooth on recording, but for me right now, oh boy, it is smooth. Alrighty. You go up here? Man, it's a good thing I cleared this place out back when Samiri first came out. The weather today is perfect for observation. Let's see if it shows up. Honestly, spending an entire night waiting for something that we're not sure is gonna happen might not be the best use of our time. But we don't really have any choice. This is all we've got. Get some sleep if you're tired. I'll be up. It's not like I could sleep anyways. You're literally yawning repeatedly. I'll stay up with you. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, how about I share some basics about astrology with you? If you're interested, that is. Huh. Huh. Yay, it's 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 morning now. Uh, sure enough, it didn't show up. That's because the Celia is you animals, let alone people. You no are the how conclusive the evidence is or how perfect our reasoning may be. They're probably what it's like I told you. I have a s I tried to understand what I had been doing when something is actively attempting to cover up all the clues without my knowing. You maybe are doing that it. That something is me. Uh, or maybe it isn't. Uh -huh. You're correct. You're be. correct. It is you. No. I could even be the seal. Bro, you are! What if I am? You are! Would the be willing to help me this time? What if I could help uh, you? Of course it would be, but that's impossible. See how badly she wants to know. Maybe I should find a way to ask the other Leo about huh? it. What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, Damn it. And to think I could have been working on my thesis this whole time. Uh, oh, oh, come on, Layla. What are you doing? Everyone's gonna start thinking you're crazy now. Uh, oh no. I'm losing it. Uh, so dizzy. Uh, this is so cruel. We're actively making her a stretch just so we can talk to the other Leia. I'm sorry to have to make you feel so uncomfortable. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted there. Where were we? It seems like she's completely recovered. Huh, does that mean Oh, what's wrong? You look like you've got something on your mind. Are you the other Layla? Hmm? <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean, the other Layla? I am Layla. But you somehow seem a little different. Then why don't you repeat the conversation we just had? Ah. <laughs> Fine. It appears that you were waiting for me to show up. I suppose there's no use in me pretending. I promise I don't mean any harm and I'll answer all your questions. But before that, would you mind telling me who you are first? I'm a friend of Layla's. I'm trying to help her finish her thesis. Let me think. Okay, I got it. You two found this place by following the hints that I left behind. You were planning to wait for me. <laughs> or I should say you were waiting for the Sealy to show up. Was this your idea or hers? Mostly hers. I see. Yes, she's always had great analytical skills. It'd be nice if she was more confident, though. <sighs> all right, that's all the questions I have. Your turn. Please ask away. 
Yeah, the Sealy aren't you. What's with the Sealy pranking people? Did you infiltrate the house of Dina? What about those rumors of special powers? That's right. Though I didn't intend for it to turn out this way, really. I just wanted to help out a few other classmates who were having a hard time while I was helping Layla finish her thesis. You see, Layla doesn't have many friends at the Academia. If the others noticed her helping them out, I thought maybe I'd help her become more sociable. It'll probably be for the best, Unfortunately, you know? Unfortunately, that didn't really work out. Instead, Legends of the Sealy started going around. <laughs> but that's alright. Huh. What's with the Sealy pranking people? I can instantly tell which students are asking serious questions and which are just trying to take advantage of me to slack off. My time to move freely is quite limited, so it's only natural that I would punish the people attempting to waste my time. Okay, yeah, my that's fair. My intention is to help people. I'm not here to cause any harm. Did you infiltrate the house of Dana? What about those rumors of special power? Infiltrating the house of Dana was a total accident. She'd forgotten an important book, and the house of Dana happened to be closed at the time. There were only days before the paper was due. I had no choice but to scale the walls with some simple climbing ropes and sneak in from above while the Corp 30 wasn't paying attention. I had no idea there was still a student inside. I had no choice but to put him to sleep. Huh? Any clear evidence of my existence would only hinder my ability to conceal my identity. It would also expose me to Layla as well. As for the special powers... Well, they're just things I did during the process of trying to finish the thesis. It's like I said, I don't have much time, so I need to be as efficient as possible. Well then, does that answer all your questions? I have one last one. Why don't you want her to know you exist? Ah, you see, her emotions are incredibly unstable. She's constantly doubting herself. If she knew that there's another Layla who is capable of doing everything, she may think even less of herself. She could think, maybe I should just leave it all to her. I'm always relying on her anyway. Why not let her live my life for me? Makes sense. She might start thinking about giving up completely, and that's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do for her. After all, she and I are one and the same. We're two sides of the same coin. No one knows her greatest strength more than I do. It's her resilience. If she's able to persevere in everything she does, then one day she won't need my help anymore. I trust that she's capable of doing that, and it's something that she should do on her own. I see. She actually discovered the key data she needs for her thesis a long time ago. She just didn't organize it well enough. I'll complete her thesis for her, just as I have in the past. Oh, please don't share any of this with her. I would like to keep this a secret for both of our sakes. I understand. Thank you for doing this for me. No, for us. Oh, she seems to be waking up now. Well, this is goodbye. If we never meet again, then I guess I did something right. <laughs> Oh. Um. <laughs> huh? Did I. Did I faint? Or did I fall asleep? You're fine, you just had a little nap. Oh, I see. Was I sleepwalking? Uh, I was, wasn't I? Nope. Uh, really? I don't believe you. You're hiding something from me. It's written all over your face. I'm not really. You said you were gonna help me, didn't you? Why are you holding out on me now? Please tell me. Oh, you promised you'd help. Bruh. <laughs> that which remains unspoken. To keep a promise made to her means the breaking of a promise made to her. This is a tricky situation indeed. Look at him! Look at him! He's just like, uh, uh. Oh, well, she's quite literally just grabbing his arm. Damn. <laughs> this is hilarious. Also. No withering zoning. Eh? 
There's no escape. Well, thank you for giving two completely useless things. That's not the important part. The important part is we're done this. 20 primos. We can get 60 primos each time. This is crazy. All right. The road to failure. Relax. Wait, isn't this supposed to be the time when we uh, 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 don't go to the house, right? Is this the place where we don't go to the house? I'm also thinking I should get this chest just for the extra five primos. I assume you have something to do with this, right? Everyone hold hands. Come here. Oi. Got you to come down. And I knew you had something to do with this. You even want this? Quit following me. This is the place I came here, but they were a group of treasure, not a, a somewhat. However, I didn't know then. Revenge, it took long. I don't know. Oh, I could have stepped in to help. Oh, it's just. Oh, but, but what about my thesis? Oh, all right. I'm. All right, so now we're. Yeah, we're now. Now we're making. Arrest. Well, technically, I'm gonna be feeling guilty if she, you know, somehow doesn't. Well, technically, I, I'm torn between these decisions because one, I, I'm supposed to help her with her thesis, but then second, I'm also doing the right thing by, by making her rest. Because look at her right now; her state is bad. But then also like what the hell, you know? I'm so confused. Find a place to rest, like right here. Uh, let's stop here. Alright. Get some food and juice. I'm good. I feel bad for making you go through so much trouble. I'm sorry. Uh, but enough. Uh, watch out! Behind monsters! Oh, uh, no, I'll fight too. Need but rest. I want to help. I mustn't keep repeating. I should take if you miss those opportunities. All right. All right, Layla. Stabilize. I see everything. All right, Layla, you're up. Has anyone ever used Layla in a freeze comp before? Solidify. Shine down. Don't be scared. Not now. I see everything. Ha! 
Yeah, has has Layla ever been using a freeze comb before? I, uh, it's embarrassing to be well, the only appropriate response. But then again, I'm just happy I didn't get. Oh, <laughs> uh, although I may not be physically strong, my will. Can you stay with me? Sure. Oh dear God! Once bitten, twice shy. Despite her incredibly weak disposition, she still chose to make a stand. Perhaps she wanted to prove a point, or perhaps she didn't want to leave regrets. Either way, this. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation. Just, just to, to occupy, occupy silence. silence. I don't know about you, but I think I can make like some videos about me trying to voice act some of these characters you know I think that would be pretty fun but now we have to go all the way back to the beginning and do this last uh, thing oh wow Woo! I opened the cusp menu again accidentally come on let's go to the academia woo Ron teleport waypoint woo I love messing this sh up also what time is it oh god 10:30. actually that's fine I can still play for a little while longer All right, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Okay, you're rendered good. Sorry, but Are you going to go visit Toilet oh, Valley? Come, uh, but no. I was originally looking up some information at the house of. Uh. I should have been done with the first trap. Well, but uh, I should probably, to be honest, you still have time, right? Lack of sleep. I've seen the call. Oh, if it wasn't, if that would, ah, uh, this uh, dude in the yeah, uh, but that's my real. Maybe the stars above. Uh, it comes down to my oh no. Yes, but the whip oh, if you want it, uh, I'm just choosing it. every other one. Well, I can, uh, try and... mm, it's too risky. What do we you should rest. rest? You'll be able to write it. Just around the uh, you do, then how should I rest? How about we head I to Plus Cafe? Yeah, there. how about you? How about That's I take you on a idea. date while, uh, while I cover it as you resting? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. W Riz Ether. Oh my god, you're insane. Anyway. There's a reason why this this person that looks like si he's 16 years old is, has some has a harem in the community. He's rizzing too much. Too slow. Anyway, uh here you go. I took you to the cafe. Enjoy. Enjoy some coffee. <laughs> you know? Know what I mean? Oh my god. Man. Layla's like character is just ooh. Just makes me say ooh. You know? Let's sit down here and have some coffee and sweets. It'll help me put my thoughts together. Uh, no, we're here to rest. My problems will have to wait for now. Oh hey Layla. Why are you angry? Huh? Sorry, but who are you? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. Why are you angry? We just submitted our theses and we're totally beat. Everyone will be meeting here to celebrate. Seeing how relaxed you look, you must have already had your thesis finished ages ago. Oh, no, I... You say that every time we talk, but you've never missed a deadline. Not only that, your papers are always... Yet you're always going around saying stuff like, I can't make it, I don't understand, I'm super worried. That kind of well, uh, I. Why are you so hostile to her? For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every oh, time that's why we come she's to mad. see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. 
Uh, I know, I know. Sorry. Yeah, Whatever, there's no point in starting an argument here. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. Uh, thanks for standing up for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. So because you don't want others to know about the blessings in the start? Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me uh, like you do. I think I understand your situation now. Huh? What do you mean? And I'm improving yourself and no longer replying when you break out of the vicious uh, cycle. Yeah, that's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home, and the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Why don't we try facing the problem head on? Sounds like we need to find a way for you to completely relax. <sighs> completely relax? But we're at a cafe. Is this not relaxing enough? You're taking your studies too seriously. I know, I know, but... <sighs> All right, no more buts. My life is a mess because of the decisions I've made for myself. I should listen to your advice this time. All right, now we gotta make a choice. How do I completely relax? Leave Samara City and go sightseeing. Sightseeing? Hmm, that does sound pretty nice. I haven't set foot outside the academia in quite a while. Where do these students even sleep? I used to enjoy visiting the rainforest, but it's been a while since I've been there. Maybe a lot has changed. Yeah, Tainari has a new voice. Okay, why don't we go there and take a look? Alright. Oh, that is a rainforest? I thought you were talking about Gandarvaville. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Let's go over here then. Still works. If it works, it works. This is not much of a forest, but it's nice. <sighs> Even the air here feels more relaxing. I just want to forget about the thesis altogether. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Knowing me, I'd only be able to forget about it for a little while. Uh, this doesn't count as trying to avoid my problems, does it? That's quite the legitimate excuse. Hmm. Uh, no, it's more of an explanation. <laughs> Even I'm starting to get bolder with my words. I grew up in a place like this, looking into the distance now with the breeze in my face makes me feel like a kid again. Oh, those were the happiest days. What did you usually do as a kid? Hmm, I had a bunch of friends back then, and we would go pick wild berries in the woods. No matter what ingredients we found, we would cook them over a fire, and whoever lost one of our games would have to eat all of it. That sounds a little intense. No, it wasn't that bad. It really depended on how lucky you were. Grilled apples and sunsetias are actually quite delicious. Grilled apples, huh? Hmm. Why don't we go find something to grill as well? Uh, 
sure. I haven't done that in ages. Uh, let's go. Uh, apples and zaytun peaches were the most popular fruits back then. Oh, and of course, grilled fish is delicious too. A oh, fish skin releases oils while cooking, which drip into the fire and cause it to burn even brighter. Bro, the outfits that Layla and Wonder have literally look like almost the exact same. Wonder, where are you looking at? Wonder, where are you looking at? Also, there's a lot of apples over there. Hey. But we would always get yelled at by the grown-ups if they caught us sneaking into the river to catch fish. What's the big deal? We just want to swim. That's what we used to say. But now that I think about it, it really was quite dangerous. Uh, uh, thank goodness nothing bad ever <laughs> happened. Bro, this one random crowd just decided to come and... I think we found enough now, don't you? Alright, these should be enough. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of fresh ingredients. They already smell delicious. I'll be here cleaning the ingredients. Can you please fetch some firewood for us? Sure. Oh. Collect firewood. Yo, there's the beast here. Will have order. Ah, these Stabilize. these firewood look mighty scrumptious, you know. Look at these firewood; they look mighty scrumptious. Upon the gale. Man, I I love killing some firewood. Hey, even the Denger Archon herself is here. Mmm, fresh food is the best. I feel like I've traveled back in time. We all used to run around in the woods when we were kids. Trees and mud was the world we knew best. It doesn't matter how long I'm away from the forest, I won't ever forget the feeling of running through the trees. Aww, oh, he sounds uh, so happy. You? Can you relate to that feeling? It's almost like not knowing the world will change or ever expecting it to change. Although adventures we rarely ever stay in one place, I hope I can experience that feeling one day. Whatever the case, it's a very warm feeling. Uh, yeah, that dendro sat in the end, I passed the admissions exam, and the life I had led came to an abrupt end. Later, as I sat in a lecture at the academia, my mind started to wander and I began to think about home. It was then that I realized how long it had been since I went back. Uh, I can't go back anymore. And other similar thoughts started to come to mind. Uh, I guess I'm still not used to being in the academia yet. That's a purpose for every stage in life. Uh, you're right. So we should let go of the past. I suppose this is also part of growing up. Hmm. But reminiscing about the carefree life of being a kid sure works wonders for the mind. <sighs> you start missing those moments once you leave them behind. And that's part of moving forward. Uh, from now on, I'd like to cherish every single day of my life. Even when it's not the smoothest of rides. I think we'll get better. I know you can do it. <laughs> uh, I'll take the compliment. 
a little bit of sugar and a good view really go a long way for relaxation. You gonna fall asleep? I thought it'd be impossible for me to enjoy something like this. I thought I'd never be able to get my mind off my thesis. But now, I feel like I'm fully enjoying myself. It's really great. So, what are we doing next? It's just nice to just throw around and see what happens. You're right. I've been doing research for so long that I'm used to having a certain routine. A carefree stroll. Huh. I like the sound of that. Oh, hi. Uh, I'll leave you be. <laughs> oh, there's even fun guy here. Don't mind me. I don't exist. What the hell are you doing here? Boy, there's a Sealy here. But I kind of want to grab this little bit of sigil real quick. Where the hell is your home? Wow, it's really far away, huh? Your home is all the way over here? Quit following me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Well, uh. Sure, I guess I'll quickly complete this one, have a little break. Time to. I just realized we never need to return this. Fuck. Now I'm here. Huh. Take it and have fun. I'll bring out Farazans. That, it, that didn't hit me, it just hit them down there. Oh, I can't configure because they're mad at me. Oh my god. I almost got all my burst back. Stabilize. Hmm. <laughs> all right, now let's actually teleport back. Oi. 
Okay, well, we're gonna do that next time. Not gonna do that chest now. I wanna finish this. Hang on to that. Does anyone actually use right click to, on their mouse to sprint in Genshin? I always press shift. Quit following now I'm right clicking. Huh. It feels weird. Too slow. Troubles. Uh, can you wait for a minute? Why don't we just go uh, for a swim? I can't remember the last time I went swimming. I might. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get it first. Wait. No, no, no. I'll definitely loop. <sighs> no. Is this how it ends? Uh, wait. We're starting already? Yeah. Oh god, the reflections are crazy. Oh god, I'm kind of low on stamina. childhood friends I was considered one of the more athletic ones but that's just like how I used to think that I had a gift for learning after coming to Sumeru City I realized that I only thought that because my hometown is such a small place on top of that uh, I'm getting weak uh, please you're always encouraging me I'm starting to feel embarrassed Aww. But swimming again really feels great. Every muscle in my body was. Uh, <laughs> I'm turn into just a fish. getting a. Uh, let's. We bounce on the fungi. There's a mushroom here. You want to jump on it to see what's up there? Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I kind of want to give it a try. Another mushroom. Oh yeah, I see multiple <gasps> jumping places. Vanarana. Can't believe we're approaching Vanarana. Certain so music in Vanarana just makes me just want to get up and just dance, man. Like this one. Oh wow, Electro really bounced me up. Quit following me. That's why I said that your life shouldn't completely revolve around your studies. Uh, you're right. No matter how much of a hard time I'm having in academics, I should still find the time to look after myself and fulfill my needs. You really understand more about life than I do. Maybe because the ether is like, I don't know, 5,000 years old? You, would you like to take the opportunity to release all your stress? Release my stress? Oh, I see what you mean. Being at the top of a mountain really does make someone want to yell out loud. Uh, but it's a little uncivilized, isn't it? It's okay. We're already here, so we should make the best of it. Uh, all right. I'll give it a try. Just promise not to laugh, okay? Amazing day! 
I'm laughing because it's cute. Alright? I'm laughing because this is cute. Uh, it feels like my entire body is bubbling with excitement after yelling like that. This happiness was so common as a child, but before I knew it, this feeling was buried in the bottom of my heart. Ah, uh, it's getting late. Uh, why don't we rest here for a while? Uh, I'll tell you some interesting astrology stuff when the stars come out. Uh, oh, but it's alright if you don't want to listen to that kind of stuff. We can also tell jokes about life, or talk about anything you're interested in. Uh, okay. Wow. Then, I'll tell you more about me. The only reason I ever chose to study astrology is because of how beautiful the stars are at night. Uh, that's all. My teacher told me that nature possesses a certain power that grants people an equal amount of kindness and fairness, regardless of the different talents they may possess. And that's why I wanted to call the kind person who's always helping me as the blessing from the stars. Well, we quite literally dropped down from the sky, so... The stars in the sky are something that brings happiness to people. That's what we're doing! They truly are! Uh, everything about home is filled with purity and passion. My memories of that place are wonderful. I never want to forget them. If I were to ever discard anything so pure, I don't think I'd ever be able to find a place to anchor myself in the vast sea of knowledge. That's why, no matter how tiring or how hard it gets, uh, I won't let my family down. They are already an important part of me. That's another reason not to lose yourself in the face of pressure. Yeah. Thank goodness you were there to help me out or I don't know where I would have ended up. <sighs> we probably still have a while until the stars come out. Ooh, I only kids sit around like this, waiting for the stars to appear. A moment of respite. I wonder if she's exhausted or if she's finally relaxed. Expect that this precious moment, moment for just a while longer. Bro. Me personally, this is just amazing. Okay, I think I just... There's two more left. We can do this, quick. So we have to do something about the... We either don't do something about the girl this time. We just choose whatever we didn't choose last time. That's what I appreciate about these hangout events. Like, you know exactly what you need to choose or whatnot. I know I sang completely out of tone there, but holy crap. This video is very long already. Jesus. Let's sit down here and have some coffee and sweets. Uh, no. Oh, hey, Layla. Uh, huh? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. We just submit seeing how. Re oh, you say that, yet you're always. Well, uh, what are you getting at? Stirred every time we. It's not like we. Uh, I know, I know. Whatever. If you think she. Uh, I really want to help you. Yeah, it's re. It's actually. Uh, Huh? Uh, uh, the thing is, I'm and the more nerd. Why don't we try facing the problem head on? Uh, face it head on? Well, Break down uh, the unfinished part. Uh, hmm, the theory has. And then there's the preparation for my thesis. Those don't defense. sound too difficult. I can help you. Uh, what? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't even know how to show you my gratitude. That was the first time I ever saw her do that. Don't worry about it, we're complete. We've already come this far. You're so kind. I had no idea I'd meet someone so nice in Sumeru City. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. It's the least I can do, considering everything you've already done for me. 
Uh, first on the list is the experiment to get observational data. I actually had it all planned out several days ago and even borrowed a celestial globe from a Mahamata. However, the weather was rainy every single day after I borrowed it, and I was unable to compare the night sky against the celestial globe. There were a lot of people waiting to borrow the celestial globe, and I wasn't able to extend my time slot. So I ret that's why huh. I still haven't performed the so you're lacking some equipment. That's right. I we're gonna have to ask around the other adventurer guild. Huh? Why the adventurers guild? Because no one has a network like Catherine does. Oh, I see. The okay. So now we ask Catherine to give someone a commission for a for a celestial glow. I, you very oddly helpful robot from Shinens Naya, you, please help. You know me personally. If Catherine was a real human, I would hug her, man. She plays such a big. She plays like parts in Genshin. Um, I I I will leave if you, the opinion of whether she played big parts or little parts up to you. But me personally, I see her every day. Ad Astra Abyssosk, welcome to the Adventurers Guild. How can I help you today? Uh, I'd like to. Uh, I have a commission. Um, it's I'm presenting the last right. I don't know anything about astrology, so I'm a- However, one of our requesters happens to be an astrologer. After the Adventurers Guild helped him out, he and perhaps we could arrange a meeting- R really Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. The man's name is Azam. Here is his address. You can go ahead and pay him a visit. What the hell? They- This man gave them his address? Bro, I swear to God, man. You've got to be kidding me. And also, how convenient that someone is a collector of celestial or globes, am I right? Like, oh my god, imagine if this guy didn't exist just for the sake of the story, man. Like, oh my god. H Hello, are you a Zom? <laughs> yes, I am. How may I help you? How is this man sounding so calm? Bro, this man's voice! Ah, I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer, then I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> I just so happen to have the device that you're looking for. Let me fetch it and show you, just to be sure. Yes, this is it! Thank you so much! Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to enter- Hmm, to be honest, judging by what stands before me, I find it very hard to believe that you're an astute Ratawaha student. Uh, Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time and Mora to collect. I cherish them as if they were members of my own family, which is why I don't let just anyone borrow them on a whim. These devices are delicate and can easily be damaged if used inappropriately. Oh, th that's completely understandable. Uh, what can I do to better gain your trust? How about this? I don't need a deposit or anything, but I'd like you to share the contents of your research with me. I'll ask you some questions. If your explanation proves satisfactory, then I'll lend you the device. Sh share the contents of my research and answer questions? Uh... If you mess this up, you won't be able to gain your trust. Don't be nervous. Just explain what you've learned. This should be a case for you. He's okay for you. I'll try, but I can't disclose the actual details to you. Yes, that would be fine. You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of celestial bodies to calculate. Mm hmm, of course. This is the basic principle of astrology. Ahem. <clears throat> My current research is about a certain phenomenon called astral shift. Interesting. That's not a topic any ordinary person would be familiar with. I have a basic understanding of the concept, but I'd like to hear you explain it. Feather. Uh, oh, okay. Well, in short, it means that the results derived from astrology are prone to change. 
Now, uh, here's the thing. You all are my fellow space enthusiasts. I don't care if you're talking, if you say, but it's talking about astrology. I don't care. It has something to do with the stars. All right. So, fellow space enthusiasts. As time continues to flow, the stars change and everything else becomes affected by this change. However, what's actually driving the change is what's worth investigating. I think that it might just be another law of nature. If the changes follow a certain pattern or routine, then it could be explained as some law. But the changes are manifold, even when considering just a single star. The changes could be resulting from a simple single orbit shift, or it could be a more complex double orbit, or even a triple or quadruple orbit shift. These phenomena have a dramatic effect on astrological conclusions. Uh, what I'm working on now is the research and prediction of the triple orbit shift phenomenon. Triple orbit? By yourself? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. You do know that adding an extra star to the equation increases the computational workload by more than tenfold, right? Uh, it does get a little complicated, but it's still manageable with the use of a few self-invented techniques and a large number of star logs and star charts. Which leads us to why I'm in need of a high-precision celestial globe. Hmm... <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I should never have judged a book by its cover. I thought you were just trying to half-heartedly deal with some school assignment. Uh, do I really look like that sort of person? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. I was a little cautious at first, but now I trust you completely. It would make me extremely happy if my collection could assist a researcher in achieving tangible results. Just make sure you return it to me once you're done. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. <sighs> Good thing Azam was willing to hear me out. I didn't really understand what you were talking about, but I thought you did great. Really? I was just explaining what it is I'm trying to do. You're starting to show signs of becoming a great researcher. Really? <laughs> oh. I don't know if you really mean it, but I'm happy to hear that. I guess even the hardest problems can be solved as long as I'm willing to try. Recording and comparing data will be much easier now that we have this device. I can do it all on my own, too. Let's continue with the plan. Can you help me with the rehearsal of my thesis defense? We can do that at the house of Dana. Hmm. So now we have to go to the house of Dana. Here we go! Oh, wow. It. I still can't get over her name. Ever since like the Ac like 3.0 was released and I was able to look at the academia and I go to the front entrance just to see her there, I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> your name is just Sit. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so, uh, when is this hangout event gonna end? Like, this ending? When is this one gonna end? Uh, don't mind me, let me just leap off the edge here. Oh. This seems like the best spot to do this. We'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone. So, here's what will happen during my thesis defense. After I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. Ah, oh, that's understandable. <sighs> that's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. So I'm playing the role of an academic advisor, right? 
Uh, that's right. It's okay if your questions are Got it. a little... You ready? Uh, wait a moment. <sighs> All right, Leo. All right. Ask away. Can you briefly describe the application of the law of triple overshift calculation? Uh, sure. The, you know, the great of this machine research is based on the results of previous research. It's about the feasibility of applying my methodologies to the remaining triple orbit problems. Ah. Um, uh, based on a sample size of 124 cases, we could only achieve approximately 60% accuracy. The results were not reliable enough to be implemented as a law. You can see the common traits of the erroneous samples on page three. Uh, excuse me, I mean from the star logs in the appendix. It's clear that in each of the erroneous samples, one of the stars underwent a significant shift. This means that, uh, we not only need to limit the number of stars, but we may also need to consider the degree of shift when applying triple orbit shift algorithms. Stars with greater shifts are often key in astrology readings. The next step of the research should be... Uh, uh, the next step should be to identify the feasible thresholds of shift for applying our calculations. And that's my answer to your question. Do... do you have any other questions? There's quite a few samples here and there. Layla successfully manages to answer uh. the question. We're finally done. I'm gonna need more practice. I can feel myself getting flustered, and I start to stumble whenever I'm asked questions that I'm unfamiliar with. Your presentation could use some work, but I can tell that your logic is sound. Oh, really? You mean it? Hmm. Then this practice must be helping. During my first thesis defense, I stood like a statue on the stage and my palms were covered in sweat. I couldn't get a single word out. It seems we've managed to address all the major challenges for you. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. It doesn't seem like there's anything holding me back now. Yep, so I scream! that means I'm capable of completing the thesis all on my own. I can hardly believe it! This is amazing! Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really excited. This is the first time this has happened, really. I'm so happy. Hmm. It's hard to reach this point. I don't need to rely on others anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I'm really happy about everything that's happened, but I'm also feeling a little sad. I still don't know anything about the blessing from the stars. Will it never happen again since I don't need its help anymore? <sighs> that somehow makes me feel a little... lonely. Lonely? Yeah, it almost makes the blessing feel like it was just a tool used for my studies, no? But I would really like to discover what the blessing actually is, if I ever get the chance. Uh, I want to express my gratitude for it. Or better yet, maybe we could be friends. It's yourself. That's basically how I feel about it. Even if I know nothing about the blessing, I could still feel its companionship all along. It's almost like how you help me. I really cherish and appreciate it. After all, it wouldn't be right to take such blessings for granted in our lives. I'm sure it would also be very happy to know you feel this way. That's good. I hope it's a little more satisfied with the way I am now. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Oh, wait! Wait, we got a free th Damn. We got a free thing. That's crazy. Alright. Alright, now for the last one. Remedial measures. There's... Wait, what? What? 
Okay, I think this is the one where we are forced to increase her stress levels for the sake of an ending. God, Layla, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this to you, but I have to for the primo gems. <laughs> Why, man? Why, Genshin? Why? I don't want to do this. I, I, I know they're literally virtual people, but I still don't want to do this. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let's skip all of this. Uh, yes, that's it. Uh, hmm. Uh, Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time, which is what. Oh. Uh, How about if you're a? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I. Oh. Okay, my mind just decided to stray elsewhere for a moment. Give me a second to gather myself. Oh, is this the celestial globe that I needed to borrow? Why is she asking? Correct. I was about to test you with a few questions, but you suddenly started looking very uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't sleep very well, so I tend to get a little dizzy from time to time. I'm fine now. Hmm. She seems a little different all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, she's different, all right. I see. Well, then, can you briefly summarize your area of research for me? With pleasure. I'll give you a general overview. <clears throat> You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of the celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future. Due to the difficulty of designing an experiment and the challenges of validating theories about the past, astrological research is usually based on an immense foundation of experience. And therein lies the largest complexity. Derived and validated conclusions may vary due to subtle changes caused by the flow of time and shifts in the stars. Ah, I've heard about this before. I believe it's known as astral shift. One of the most classic challenges is to use three stars with shifting orbits to predict the overall changes that may have occurred. Ah, uh, are you referring to the triple orbit problem? Yes, that really is a classic problem, and a very difficult one to tackle. I came up with a set of prediction methods that encompass more than half of the triple orbit problems. However, there are quite a few limitations and requirements. This set of methods is already being put into practice at the Ritawa Hisdarshan by my advisor, drastically simplifying the difficulty of calculations involved in the triple orbit problem. Yes, I've heard about that. The announcement made big waves in the astrology enthusiast community. So, you were the one who came up with that? <laughs> you mustn't judge a book by its cover, you know. The thesis I'm working on this time aims to address the remaining triple orbit problems, as well as eliminate a portion of the methodology's limitations, which will make it easier to use. Damn. I see. In that case, perhaps there's no one more fitting to operate this device than you. I just keep it as part of a collection, and I can't use it to its full potential like you can. That's insane. Thank you for understanding. I'll return it in perfect working order once I'm finished with it. Okay, we should be going now. Uh, what did we plan to do after this? I kind of forgot. You aren't Lila, are you? Huh? What makes you say that? Is there something off about me? Your personality changed. The real Lila wouldn't forget what to do next. <sighs> Fine. Looks like I can't keep the act up any longer. I even tried to look a little panicky to emulate her behavior. You're the blessing from the stars, aren't you? <laughs> I suppose that is what she's been calling me. With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety peaks, she loses consciousness and I take over. However, her unpredictable and variable sleep patterns are completely out of my control. So I have to make every second count. There's no one willing to help her here, so I have to step in. Hmm. I am rather curious about you, though. Why are you trying to help her? 
Well, she's finally decided to face the problems with the thesis head on, and she's working very hard on it. <clears throat> really? That's great. You're helping with all the things that I used to do for her. Seems like you've given her a boost of confidence with your encouragement. She's only steps away from the finish line. Ah, she's already made a lot of progress, so there's no need to push too hard now. Anyway, what's the plan from here? She said that she wanted to practice for a thesis defense. I see. Well, it wouldn't be of any help if I practiced for her, but I'll leave some notes that should come in handy. Come on, let's go back to the house of Dana to make preparations. You'll have to tell her later when she wakes up. Alright. <clears throat> so this is an ending where we just now realize that uh, something's off with her. The wind rises. Today is probably the longest I ever played Genshin Impact for, because I'm pretty sure if you round up the total amount of hours I played today, it's at least like how many hours? A lot of hours, like six at the very Too least. Slow. I've never played Genshin for me. this long before, but it's worth the grind. Also, did I have reflections turned on or something? Oh, I did. Wait a minute. There's some things that I turned off. Volumetric fog. Wait, what the fuck? Motion blur. Blue. I don't even know what this does. Okay, I, I can do without the motion blur. Let me turn off motion blur and see what happens. Bro, did I? Bro, I clicked. Hmm, for some reason it seems like subsurface scattering is making my computer lag. Since when did I turn it to- I don't even know what subsurface scattering does actually, so I'm just gonna turn it off. But also, why is volumetric fog just dead? Okay, I should get started on those notes. If there's anything you're curious about, you may go ahead and ask now. I can answer you as I write. <laughs> I'm used to multitasking. Oh, and I have to ask a favor. When you give the notes to her later, please don't tell her about my existence. Why is that? Hmm. Well, she's always been in a fragile state. If she knew that, th she might feel like everything she's ever worked okay, for. Okay, yeah, that's basically what she says in the first grows one. Any worse, if she's getting better though, she's my source of knowledge. I believe that she's one of the best, even in a place like the Akad- But growth is a process and she shouldn't has you. be rushed. <laughs> believe me, even if she were to end up at- That's the kind of person- <sighs> Alright, I've written down all the possible questions that I think the- I'm not going to sign it, obviously. Hmm. The name is Layla. Bro. The name is Layla. That's an interesting uh, way to put it. Just saying the name is Layla. But anyway. We've got some good stuff now. Wrong place. Let's go receive our free pull, shall we? Now we have 16 pulls. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video is very long already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Hello, so judging by the timeline of events, just now I have finished recording Layla's hangout event and since this video most likely would come out before that video is uploaded, you guys will know what one of the Genshin videos I upload will be about and yeah, you are receiving a crap ton of Genshin content. I mean, it's the beginning of 3.6 and I want to get some of these things I can get done as, as fast as possible. Also, I just realized I almost have 3 million Mora now. That's insane. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. Also, I also have another Fragile Resin. Yeah. Alright. Good. Now we have 6 rounds. And I'm getting the feeling that even with those six rounds, we won't be able to get good stuff because that is just my luck in Genshin. I really sincerely hope that um, this means that my luck is going into Kazuha because I really want to get him, man. I w desire him. Like, it's, it's not even in the simping way we, and either. Like, there's there are people that do simp for Kazuha. At last, I'm looking at you. And, um... There... There's also people like me who just want him because he's just too powerful. And I, and I need an actual so crowd I, control, you know? You Other than sucrose. How did he die? Oh yeah, I just want to mention that sipping for Kazuha isn't like I don't mean it as a sin. I'm just like there are people who do this, and I'm not one of those people. Goblet. Oh, uh -huh. it was. It's so close. It's so close. It was this close. It was this close. It was so close. Okay. This is order. Here you are. Now you're testing my patience. We'll meet again. Alright, first out of the con five condensed resins, what will you give me? <laughs> I am quite literally gagging. I am gagging on this right now. Also, I just realized my eyes are now starting to droop. I think I'm tired, just like Layla. <laughs> but holy crap. You are not the A process of elimination. No, no, oh god, oh god, this is horrendous, this is horrendous, man, oh god. Solidify! You are not welcome here! with me! <laughs> Yeah. 
gotcha. That took some time. <laughs> These are the times when these really start to get painful. Good, that was perfect. All of them were grouped exactly how I wanted them to. That was perfect. Oh? Okay, rolling that one. No. Why? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Why, why do you do this? Why animo damage bonus? All right, let's go. I'm also thinking about farming some tenacity of the Millerlith artifact for John Lee. Wow, that was crazy, man. All right. Bro. Bro. <laughs> I am utterly disgusted. But there is one potential flower that has potential. And if it rolls correctly, this could be a goaded piece. Please. Please make it be goaded. If, if it gets like high crit or something, then I... And most definitely going to uh go do something. I might even use this for Tainari. But let's see here. What that is gonna give me? Okay, you know what? Let's go into our inventory and turn all of the this extra stuff into Mora. All like all of this shit. Oh my god. Can I like, thank you, thank you, select all of you, please, 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 thank you, now destroy, that gives me 58,000 Mora. <laughs> oh. Dang it. What if I destroy the three star artifacts as well? I don't know. I'm kind of hungry for some Mora. It's good to stack up, you know? But uh, I also have plenty of four stars to level things up, and they level up faster, so. Let's also sacrifice the three stars. Oh. Oh dear god, it lagged the game. <laughs> uh, no. No. Ah, there we go. Alrighty, now I should. Yeah, now I have three million more, but not for long. I just had to take a quick screenshot of that because I haven't had that number in a while now. Alright, now let's see. A flat attack. Hmm. 
concerning, mildly concerning, but let's see. Crit rolls? Hmm. God damn it. I believe in the crit damage. Oh. Oh. Even though it's not much, it still makes me say oh. Alright. Another crit roll would make this perfect. Did I actually use up all my consumables? Damn. I actually did, didn't I? Hmm. Flat attack. No, attack percent. Hmm. Now this gets me thinking. Basically... Hold up, let me do some quick maths here. Is this even worth keeping? Alright, so... 5.8 times 2, and then plus 13.2. That's 24.8 crit value. Is that even worth keeping at this point? Is, 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 that, is that worth keeping? Or should I just throw that into this? I feel like I should throw that into this. This this isn't this is not a good piece. I'll throw this into the sands that I that I'm supposed to get for Kazaha. This one. Also this. What am I supposed to do with you? Okay, yeah, this is just about what I expected from you anyway. Alright. Well. Wait. Huh? No. Uh, whatever. That's that. We're we're almost at day forty of Genshin farming pain. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Farewell.